ready for the next battle. Hey everyone, it's your boy Nick here and welcome back to my channel. So last week you saw me cover one of King's grappling sequences and today I'm going to cover another sequence for you. If you haven't seen the first video, please I'll put a, a card up here so that you can check it out. And please do that one first and then without further ado, enjoy the video. <laughs> So let's just break down that knee bar quick, all right? So the legs are open after the takedown. Pretty cool uh, opportunity to strike quick if we have the chance, okay? What I'm gonna do first is that this knee is gonna slide over his hip and I'm gonna grab that leg, okay? This way I can sit on, on my opponent and, and carrying my weight all the way through. Okay, see here, I keep it on the inside. I'm not, in the, in the game now itself, you see it on the outside. Um, that's cool and all, but this is easier for the transition one and it's easier to keep the hip pinned down. Okay, and it can give us more, more uh, control over the leg so we can complete the knee bar. Cool, and then from here, obviously sit down and finish it. Okay, so boom, we hit that. So from here, this gives me something to push off of. Okay, I can push off my opponent's body so I can keep my weight on them and keep some form of control if, they, if I don't lock this in properly. So that way I can go into the side control position and pin down my opponent and go for that Americana slash key lock maneuver. Okay, boom, I can slide over. Easy peasy. And then from here, I could go for the key lock. So when we do that last transition to get to that neck crank, um, you won't re necessarily strangle them because you're not really attacking the full artery, you're attacking the, the vertebra in the neck. So uh, let's just cover the transition. So we go for that Americana, okay? And then nothing's going on because this arm escaped or whatever, or we just want to break something else after we get the initial break. So this arm stays hooked here and it comes around the head. We move, pitting the shoulders down. We lay our body weight on them, okay? And then this arm comes underneath the shoulder, hooking here. And then from here, we are gonna turn them over. Pressing, 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 pressing. And then from here, we can hook down, maybe hook the hip. Let's go over that again. We can hook the hip, okay? And we push our hips down and we press ourselves up here and cracking, cranking the neck and causing some severe damage and pain. Okay, so just with that neck crank, that north-south position and turning them over is actually a very difficult transition. What I'll do now is I'll go into more detail about that Americana slash key lock and we'll work in one, another one of King's maneuvers. Um, it's just that, you know, if we're turning them over, we are probably going to get to this point here and they're not going to turn over anymore so this is the time to start actually working taking the back and going for a strangulation that would be more ideal than turning them over like that it's very it's a very difficult transition to do all right cool so we're just going to cover that americana or if you prefer key lock when i've got them pinned down nicely Okay, or if I'm gonna go pin them down, 
what they will do is they'll take that forearm of theirs and press my head away from them so that they can break my posture and prevent me from, you know, pinning them down so that they can escape. So once they give me that, they've given me that. So if I'm in this position nice and tight or I'm trying to close up, they've given me that arm to attack. And then from there, I grab my wrist, I grab their wrist, no thumb grip, no thumb grip, or uh, whatever is comfortable for you, but no thumb grip is more controlling. And then of course, I am going to pull in tight and I'm going to switch my hips and then break. Now, the cool thing about that is we can actually add on to the sequence with one of the previous attacks with the uh, Kimura where we have the head pinned and pinched between our legs. So, usually what happens when I go for this attack, they will straighten out their arm. I could probably go for that straight arm bar, but they will bend here. Okay, so this way I can hook their arm in nicely. I can press down on their face, switch up, pin them, and of course switch arms, and then break and finish the attack. This makes a, this transition makes more sense to me uh, going to that final attack than what it does with the arm bar. But once again, you know, uh, it is a video game, so things need to be bigger and better looking, just like in the movies, you know. Uh, in Rocky, they don't punch like boxes. They just make the movements bigger so it looks more exciting and hard hitting. It looks better on camera. Same with fighting games. The movements need to be bigger, you know, and that makes the moves seem like it's got more impact. But yet again, uh, I'm trying to demonstrate these so that you can apply them realistically. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Please hit subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the bell notifications. It's a small click for you, but it's a massive help for me. Thank you once again, and have a good rest of your day.